In the meantime, mm. man, I could smell you mm. all the way down the hallway. Mm. <clears throat> you put onions and garlic. It's a, it's a secret chef trick. Oh, Jason, I've got, well, Thomas, I've got one right here. This is the fat. Yeah, what is that? That is lard okay. that has already been seasoned because it came out of some finished oh. pork, right? So you use this. Okay. You smell that smokiness? Yeah. I do use that to cook my onions. So remember, if you've got extra fat uh -huh. afterward, put it in a container and save, save it for later. Because mm -hmm. it's the best. It's better than butter, in my opinion. Now, Jason, <laughs> and it's, uh, now Jace, we're getting into some pool pork. This is just onions. the beginning yeah. of the madness. We're oh, getting yeah. ready and getting some pool pork. Um, you talk a lot about the local ingredients mm -hmm. when it comes to I do. Them. Yeah. I do. I've got some amazing stuff here. So these red onions and this bok choy, actually, mm -hmm. bok choy. this beautiful bok choy, are from farming engineers. Oh. And so I'm going to use that to make a quick slaw. Okay. And so we're going to put that maybe under okay. the bottom layer and then we'll right. put the pork on top. Right. This, of course, is Becker Farms. Okay. So nice. Kyle Becker's a good friend of mine. He is uh, one of a, a great number of Indiana growers that just raises their animals with such integrity. Mm -hmm. Love it. It Love really the does product. start with the, the source of the, the produce, the yeah. meat. It really does. It makes all the difference. Yeah, wait until you taste it. Oh, no, if you I know. Everything before, from this guy is so good. So. <laughs> wait until you, know, you taste it because oh, oh, yes. you, can't, you can't do better than that. Oh, so yes. I'm going to finish this slaw later, but I'm going to show you what I wanted to show you Let's was do it. how I, and I smoke mine so you can smell that smokiness. And if you have a smoker, <clears throat> I encourage yeah. you to smoke these. Okay. Uh, but the first step is definitely the rub. So anybody who does any barbecue knows about the rub. Uh -huh. Some people do wet rub. Some people do dry rub. But I'm doing wet. Start with a lot of salt. I don't like to put the salt with my other seasonings because mm -hmm. okay. I like to control exactly how much goes on it. Okay. Uh, sometimes if you've got a bigger piece of meat, mm -hmm. you're going to put... You're going to want more salt, mm -hmm. less salt in certain areas, so I like to do it this way. I was going to ask you, man, is, is wet rub your preference between? I like the dry, personally, okay. because when yeah. I'm smoking it, I want there to be a nice pellicle on there, gotcha, so you want to gotcha. dry it out. Can we talk, too, about the type of salt? Because I feel like this salt, there's just such a flavor, such a distinction I love between the form. just regular table salt. I yeah. love the form, Amber. Yeah. You see the form? Look at this. This is... Um, <laughs> This is actually sea salt, so yeah, it, it's so. Uh, I love the sea salt. Yeah, I haven't added anything to this particular batch. Uh, the next step, I have my rub, and I'll tell you exactly this rub, the way I made this one specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, this is two ounces. Okay. Actually, I put it in a big container, so this is probably half of it. So it was two ounces of garlic powder, two mm -hmm. ounces, two ounces of onion powder, mm -hmm. uh, two ounces of paprika, and then one ounce, of, half an ounce of thyme, okay. and that's okay. it. Oh, cumin. 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 One ounce of cumin. So, so you're trying to keep secrets from us, Jason? I was. I was. I couldn't tell you everything. And then you just do a warm, generous sprinkle yeah, on here. Yeah, look at that. And it's okay if some of it falls off in the pan. It'll come back to you later. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice mm, flip so it over. Good. I like to rub it in, too. Sometimes I use yeah. a spatula, so I want to get my hands all porky. <laughs> all right? porky. Flip it over. <laughs> I might even add a little more salt, but I can always add salt later. Here we go. And that is pretty much it. Now, I would put this on the smoker at least for an hour and a half. Okay. There is something about that smoky flavor. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So this alone, if I put it in this, I'm going to put it in this container right okay. here. And maybe the second segment by the magic of television will have something completely finished here. All right. Put the lid on it. Put it in the oven. I usually start it at about 270. Okay. 300 is fine. Is this a low and slow? It is a low deal? and slow. I'll okay. get it started. And then I finish it right around 220, and okay. I put an internal mm. thermometer in it. Mm. And when it reaches 195 to 200, it's done. Okay. And, and you'll see go. it just pulls apart. Pulls I can't apart. wait. Ooh. I'm telling you, yeah. everything this man makes is delicious, but it really does start the fresh, the local ingredients. I know it can make all the difference. Absolutely. More with Jason Michael Thomas Randall coming up here in just a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah.